we're talking the dark red. This one is directed and co-written by Dan Bush and stars April Billingsley as Sybil. Now, this is Sybil's story, and we see a prologue that this character has had a troubled childhood and witnessed things that no child's really seen. But we catch up with her in adult life as she is in the protection of a mental institution. And she obviously has a history of mental illness, and she is talking to a doctor and recounting ultimately how she has got to this place. Now, she claims that there is a mysterious organisation that has kidnapped her young child because of paranormal properties that are in both Sybil's blood and this baby's. Now, of course, the psychiatrist doesn't actually believe her, and there is evidence to suggest that she may well just be having some type of mental breakdown, or could there really be some type of mysterious organisation out to kind of get people with a particular blood type? The nearest movie I would suggest this is like is Scanners. It really reminded me of that film, minus the kind of the, uh, the head exploding kind of situations, but nonetheless, the, the, uh, the kind of the psychic properties that we sort of see in some, in some instances do, did remind me of that movie. So what works, first of all? I have to say, this is a solidly made production and feels like it's had time put into it and has a lot of love and care bit with, it, with the production here. It does feel like this movie has been particularly well kind of prepped and thought out. Care and attention has been taken to things like the different, the different shots, um, shot composition, lighting, all of the technical aspects of the film is a very high standard here. I think the characters are well developed. Sybil's character... It does a great job, uh, played by April Billingsley, of really making you, as a viewer, question whether what she is saying is legitimate or she genuinely is having some type of mental breakdown. And we, as a viewer, are left to make that determination, obviously, with the evidence that we see before us. And to be fair, the movie presents us with equal equal opportunities to, uh, to, to make, your, make that decision either way. Also, I feel the supporting cast here are very good. Um, everyone here, I think, plays their part particularly well. The third act is particularly exciting, and uh, without kind of spoiling it for you, makes for a thrilling finale. Maybe what doesn't work with this movie, I thought the biggest, I have two critiques with this film. One is relatively minor, one is a little bit, made, a bit bigger. So the bigger one to me is that I feel, although this story is solid and well acted with good characters and the third act is very satisfying. The first two acts are, are maybe a tad too slow. I do not feel the movie gets to the point early enough. And um, when things are revealed, and ultimately kind of finding, finding out what's kind of going on here, uh, I feel, it, you feel like it's treading water for, until that point to a certain degree. I feel more needed to be revealed earlier on and more story could have, ha could have happened that related to the reveal it may be in the kind of the second act. So I feel the first two acts are a little bit too much set up with the payoff being just in the third act. Now, that, I think it works in certain stories, but the, and this maybe goes hand in hand with the, 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 the second critique I have. The other thing is, is that although there are some scenes here that are kind of potentially to do with the paranormal, on screen, it's nothing really visually stimulating. Um, so we have people who may or may not have psychic powers, but we never really see anything other than people looking like they're constipated when they're sort of trying to focus and things like that. So it's not a particularly visually interesting movie um, because there's, there's no real effect here to kind of demonstrate what is meant to have been going on. It's just kind of people, you know, doing this kind of thing. Um, so I feel like the movie could have benefited from having a little bit more... Um, time with these kind of these these kind of uh, issues and things like that having them a little bit earlier and maybe had a little bit more of a um visual reputation of maybe what's going on to make the movie seem a little bit more visually exciting because it's kind of packed in quite last quite late into the movie and when we do see it it's you know a little bit kind of like underwhelming in in regards to visuals but this is a solid film if you like you know a well thought out story with Good performances, you know, interesting characters that are not black and white. They have moral 
um, dilemmas here and are, you know, shades of grey to a certain degree, at least some of the characters here. And we are left with kind of moral quandaries and questions and things like that. But the movie does a good job of really, um, you know, explaining the plot, kind of make, not kind of confusing with too much. And there's a lot of kind of time jumping here. But this is a good example of where a movie can do that, but not confuse an audience by, by, by making things too convoluted. It works in this instance. Like I said, my, my critiques may be would, uh, not world-breaking, to be fair. I feel this movie can be enjoyed still by most people. I think it just maybe would have plussed the movie a little bit more had they, those things gone on. But it stands as a solid kind of... It's not really a horror film, to be honest with you. Uh, it's, it's being kind of, you know, billed as that, but it, it really isn't. Uh, so I'll give this one a 7 out of 10. It's a solid movie. I would definitely check this one out. Have you seen it? What do you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.